What's going on? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. Monday morning. Well, Monday afternoon. Getting a little late start on my walk. Uh, we had class this morning, a meeting. So I did wake up early enough to get my spin done, some breakfast. Then took the wife to work. Had to go to my meeting. Took about three hours and Got home, made some lunch, some uh, breaded chicken tenders, and some fries. And thought I better go ahead and get my walk done. Number one, it's only getting hotter. Number two, I still got to do legs and chest today. So I need to get stuff done. So... Uh, don't know the extent of my workout today. I probably won't do like a full video. If I do anything, it might be a clip here and there or something. Go on, bug. I don't feel like doing a... I don't feel like doing another full video right now, so... <clears throat> so as I was in class today, there was some talk about... Just different things and, you know, how we should greet one another and the kids and treat one another and the kids and all this other kind of stuff. And <clears throat> I almost had to just kind of choke back some feelings while sitting in there. You know, because we kind of touched on some subjects that, you know, kind of a affect me a little bit uh, as far as you know making people feel good your self-worth etc that kind of stuff and you know I lack a lot of that I don't feel a lot of self-worth uh, in my life and I haven't for a long time a lot of years so it kind of hurts the old the old feelings a little bit the emotions the everything kind of gets stirred up a little bit crazy sometimes when certain subjects and things are talked about so it kind of got me thinking you know, a lot of my problems are, you know, of course I've been dealing with depression for like 25 years, but I see a lot of things happening with me now. I, I see a lot of changes in how I am now. And I think a lot of that is a lot of stuff. But one thing that came to my mind was my liver problem. Problem I'm having with my liver. And I tried to comp I tried to find a way to kind of explain how I feel. After our first kid was born, my wife was diagnosed with melanoma on her neck. She went and had a mole checked out, and it was cancerous, and it was almost at a level four or whatever that is, and like it was almost terminal, like close. And I wasn't with her whenever she got diagnosed with that, but I know the I can understand now the feeling of how she probably felt at that moment doomed unsure scared confused lots of other lots of other words but one positive thing about my wife is 
there was something that could be done. Cancer's nothing to mess with at all. Especially what she had. Now she's lucky to be here. But she had an option. Miss Thorne, you're going in surgery next week. I mean, it was that quick. Boom. So that brings me to my liver problem. There's no surgery to fix my problem. There's no pill. There's no shot. There's no nothing. So, basically every day I'm waking up and going to bed, wondering what the next step is going to be. What's going to happen? And it's quite it's scary. You know, I could go the next <clears throat> 10 years, 20, 30, however long, and nothing happened at all. Or, you know, I could have something happen right this second as I'm doing the video. Anything can happen. And it's not like, well, Mike, anything can happen any day. Yeah, but you got some control over some stuff. It's when you have no control. That's when it's scary. That's when kind of reality sets in. So here I am. On my little fitness journey. Worrying about what I eat, what I drink, working out all the time, walking all the time, spinning on the bike all the time, doing my videos, preaching and teaching the healthy life. And here I am, you know, with some uh, liver problem that could take me out today. What goes to my mind is, what did I do wrong? Why did I deserve this? Was it the 49 years of the Great American Diet that did it to me? Was it hereditary? Genetics? Was it the vaccine? that I got and the booster shot like a fool. What was it? What did I do? I've not been a perfect guy. I've not been a perfect person. I am going to go to my grave with a couple of things that I'm ashamed of. As most people will. But I've been a pretty decent guy. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs. Nobody ever hears me cuss, except for my wife. And I've just really started cussing more over the past probably two years. Never hit my wife. I don't yell. I've been faithful. For 31 years, when I've had a lot of stuff thrown at me that a lot of guys would have jumped on, some good looking stuff thrown on me. <laughs> I 
I've tried to be a good dad. I've tried to do decent. Not perfect, decent. And here I am, waking up and going to bed, not knowing when my time is up. And it's a different, like I said, it's a different time is up when it's like this. We all know that our, our time can be up at any moment. This is different. I got a lot that I'm dealing with. Moving, all this house selling and looking for homes and moving and trying to get stuff set up and done. My oldest kid's diabetes. My wife's epilepsy. My liver, depression, work, home. A marriage that's not perfect. You kind of think, is death really so bad? I don't know. <sighs> trying to keep my head up, guys. I'm trying to keep the old chin up. I'm trying to keep pushing forward. I'm trying to do decent, not perfect. <sighs> Life is not for the weak. You hear a lot of old, old, old people and generations past have said the same thing. Life is not for the weak. Getting old is not for the weak. Didn't want to start Monday out with you guys on a negative point, negative topics or anything, but I just felt like I needed to kind of get it off my chest and talk about it. Anyway... Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me. Your crazy host. If you care to discuss anything at all, you can leave them in the comments. You can open up for discussion. We're, we're good with about anything. If you need to talk, just put it out there. Get up, get out, get ready. Do it to it. We'll see you later. On the body beat down. Get up, get out, get ready. Do it, do it. <laughs>